One of the things you might not have time to do when you're visiting London is watch TV. Why would you when there's so many other things to do? However, if you're an American living in London like me, through time, you're gonna be watching a lot of TV, or as they call it here, telly. I'm not counting this difference, but you'll find there is a lot more violence, especially with guns, on American television. In the UK, you will hear a lot more swearing on TV. They show a lot of American television here. You'll find it's easy in London to see episodes of Friends, The Closer, NCIS, Blue Bloods, Family Guy, Big Bang Theory, and obviously Game of Thrones. American expats living here, if there's any shows I've forgotten, please add those in the comments. I mostly watch E! in London, although here I think they should just call it K because it seems like all they show are episodes of the Kardashians. You'll also occasionally find Nags or Wags, whatever that show is, Botched, and the wrestling show with the Bella Twins. If you do like E!, you'll have to wait the next day for E! News because obviously there's a time difference. If you like Bravo's Real Housewives, they show those here. However, they're usually a season late. They also show Ladies of London. However, my guilty pleasure, The Royals, the second season wasn't shown here. Despite the fact that the lead character is played by Elizabeth Hurley, who's British, and Dame Joan Collins also has a role in the show, I just think it understandably wasn't very well received by British people. Now there are some shows that are shown in both countries, but they are with different casts. For example, MasterChef. There's a MasterChef America and there's a MasterChef here. There's also Strictly Come Dancing in the UK. If you watch Dancing with the Stars, that show came after Strictly Come Dancing and was based on it. It's now an international phenomenon and it's in many countries. Len and Bruno were both judges in the UK as well as America. You can also see Big Brother, America's Got Talent, Britain's Got Talent, The Voice, and Lip Sync Battle in both countries. LL Cool J's Lip Sync Battle was first. You'll also find networks do the same kind of shows. For example, MTV had Jersey Shore in the US. Here, there's a version of it called Geordie Shore. I had always heard that commercials here were really different. First, they're called adverts and there are a lot less of them. Now when I return to America, I find that our commercials, especially the local ones, are really flashy, loud, and overdone. For example, car dealership commercials, I never see those kinds of things here. Also in the US, when new shows are being launched, networks show their promos over and over and over again. I don't experience that here. I also don't see at the end of an episode that infamous, make sure you watch next week when thing happening to promote the next week's show. Another difference is soap operas. I was a huge General Hospital and Days of Our Lives fan when I was growing up. Here are the popular soap operas are Emmerdale, Coronation Street, East Enders, and Holy Oaks. The big difference from what I can see is our soap operas are shown during the day. Here, they're mostly primetime TV. If you love old school Christmas shows, you might be disappointed if you're in the UK for Christmas. For example, I've never seen the Claymation Rudolph or the animated Frosty the Snowman while living here. So if you wanna see those, you'll probably have to buy copies on Amazon. They do have a Sky Christmas channel, which will show things like Home Alone. I find award shows to be different. I watched the BAFTAs for television recently. That's like the Emmys in America. I noticed that there wasn't hours of red carpet coverage shown ahead of time. The speeches seemed like they were shorter. It seemed more focused. It was also on the BBC, so there were no commercials. The show also took place during a general election, and the nominees were actually told if they said anything political in an acceptance speech that it would be cut. I can't really imagine that happening in America. We obviously don't have Eurovision in America. It's the longest running international television song competition. Eurovision has been happening since 1956. Each participating country submits an original song to be performed live on television and radio and then casts votes for the other country songs to determine the most popular song in the competition. The winner doesn't really have an explosive launch to their career. Two past winners were 
ABBA, and Celine Dion. I think there's a difference also in morning news television shows between the two countries. Having worked for NBC News, the only thing I ever watched in the US was the Today Show. I was really disappointed the last time I went home and watched the Today Show. It seemed all they were doing was promoting their upcoming shows and the stars that were on them. I don't think morning television shows here do that. Something else that's not on here is the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. Even if it was on in London, I wouldn't be able to watch it because I've had to work on Thanksgiving the past couple of years. It's not a holiday here. Again, NBC has just turned that into one giant promo for all its upcoming television shows and stars, and at least they've still kept the Rockettes and Santa Claus in the show. Pin like and share this video if you found it valuable. Subscribe to The Sunny News if you don't want to miss any future videos about the differences between the UK and the USA, as well as information about fun things to do in London. And now the biggest difference, which could be a real game changer if you're American and considering moving to London, and that's your ability to watch NFL games. Now, over the past five or six years, they've actually played some games in London, which means you can watch them at a normal time. But if you want to see the Super Bowl live at a bar, that means you're basically standing there for a midnight kickoff. I've never gone to a bar here to watch the game because I know I can't stay awake late enough. I'm guessing if you watch it live in London that you won't have the ability to see the commercials that the people in the US will, and that's usually one of the highlights. Please remember as you're leaving comments that I am still learning about British culture as an American living in London. I know London doesn't represent the entire UK. I use US versus UK in the titles for search engine purposes. I would appreciate if you left suggestions of shows you think that I should watch or perhaps other American expats who move here would value seeing. As always, thank you for watching.